Hey guys, for the past month, month and a half, I've been working on my new kitchen, um, so I haven't put up as much as I normally would as far as videos. I'm um, just finishing up little details, um, so I thought I'd bring you guys along and have a little teeny project, a mini project. thought you guys would enjoy it, you, you could use it, let me show you. It involves the, uh, the cabinet above the refrigerator. Um, this one's actually pulled out a little bit, this is a standard cabinet, but I, I mounted it out a little bit further. But everybody that has a cabinet above the fridge knows how horrible it is to actually use it, get anything in and out of it. Um, this one, because it's pulled out, I can reach it, I can open it, but the stuff at the back, um, got my ice cream cone right here. You know, it, it becomes extremely hard to uh, reach and utilize, so we're going to fix that. So essentially what we're going to do is make a shelf that comes, comes out when you open the door and actually retracts when you shut the door. So anything that was at the back is now, once you open this door, is now right here within reach, making it essentially a foot and a half, two feet closer, being right out here where I can reach it. So the first thing I did was make quite the elaborate cardboard template. And I adjust sizes, taped it to the door, made sure it worked, and came out with this. And we took that and we just transferred it to a uh, scrap piece of wood. This is just extra wood that I had, um, nothing fancy. And also to keep stuff from falling off, I made a backer for it. Um, this will make some more sense, but just to keep stuff from falling off and on when you're closing, opening the door. But this just get, uh, this I just screwed right there. Um, I used pockets, but you can just screw it from underneath, whatever works. Um, not that important to even really have this, but it does help. And to mount this actually to the door, what I'm using is, this is just something I had lying around. They are um, like a two by four ties, where you put two pieces of lumber together and you nail them in. I think they're a quarter or something like that, 22 cents or something at the Home Depot Lowe's. I bent these at a 90 degree angle and what it'll do is it'll actually sit on the underside where's the front yeah this is the front sit on the underside it'll screw to here and then it'll also screw to the door so I've got the uh, back panel man mounted I got the little two brackets mounted they're just screwed on and now what I'll do is I'll just set this on here I'll close the door um, and I'll draw take my pencil and I'll mark where it needs to be pull this out and we will screw it to the to the cabinet there we go now the shelf actually is sitting here and you do have the problem with as soon as it opens far enough nothing is supporting it um, and you can let it just sit there, and if your door's only open about 90 degrees, this would be fine. But most, most doors these days, um, with like Euro hinges and stuff, they will open up even further. So I could, there's a couple options I could do. I could actually um, build a bigger back to it and actually screw it to the door. I could put a stop to limit the door from only opening so far. What I'm gonna do is, I like being able to open it this extra distance. Um, I'm going to use heavy duty um, industrial string. This is actually, I believe, this is extremely thin um, paracord type stuff. Um, instead of the 550 pound, I believe it's like 90 pound or 100 pound. It's extremely strong. You can't break it by hand. Um, what I'll do is I'll feed this up to make it so you can't really see. Is I'll actually just tie a knot. And it'll support the weight of the of anything on there that you'll have ever put on this drawer, but it'll also act as as a backstop. But I'll just tie, you know, a quick um, slip knot. What I did is I um I tie I actually screwed a pan head screw up here, so I just tied a quick slip knot, and I'll just feed that over there. I'll bring this out, and I will. I'll actually loop it back through a couple times. Let's cut off the excess. 
I just drilled a uh, roughly an eighth inch hole and you know if it drags it doesn't really matter. We'll pre-tension it, wrap it back through on itself a couple times, get a bit get it to you know there we go. That'll hold the tension of whatever I put on there. But that's the idea. And you can see when it closes in there. Now it does leave a uh, a little um, extra space in the middle, but that you're not prevented from putting something in there. You know, it doesn't rob it from you. It just doesn't slide out with with you, but it it stays in there just fine. So now I'll do the other side. Well, there we go, guys. We take something that was virtually unreachable, unusable, and we turn it into something completely usable. Um, there's no issues. You can't slam the door, um, but I mean, you can shut them, but you, you can't slam it. You know, all that stuff stays on there. Get me some crackers. There we go, just a simple little woodworking project. No finishing, no major tools, everything's hidden inside, so it's more of a functional aspect, more than a cosmetic, but it's awesome. Don't forget to share this on Facebook because your aunt Jody wants to see this and she wants you to come over and build her one. Um, don't forget to thumbs up below, comment, and check out my channel for a bunch of other awesome little builds or some major builds that I've done in the past. Thanks guys, see you soon, bye.